Hi, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Hale, and I'm a product manager on G Suite. I'm here with my colleague, John Harmer, another product manager on G Suite. We'd like to talk with you today on how you can use G Suite together with all of your favorite applications, including Microsoft tools. But first, let's look at how work gets done today. Professionals have access to dozens of applications in their organization. In fact, the average large company uses 129 different applications to get work done. Apps like DocuSign, Box, or Trello can simplify individual processes and drive businesses to adopt newer ways of work. It's really great that there seems to be an app specifically designed for what we need to get done for each task. But there's a downside of this proliferation of apps. The flood of notifications and disconnected processes frustrates users. Our work is spread across more apps than ever before, which inevitably leads to lots of app switching and reduces our ability to focus. Context switching between applications cuts into time spent on value additive work. In fact, research shows that users are losing 32 days per year just navigating between their day-to-day -day applications. But not to worry, we have solutions to help solve these problems. G Suite was designed to work seamlessly with the apps your team already uses. We know that teams require applications beyond G Suite, apps from Slack, DocuSign, Salesforce, and Microsoft. Workers need a single intuitive platform that lets them use their favorite tools without context switching. Businesses need a platform that integrates seamlessly with their existing software stack while administrators want it simple enough to service and manage. So what we're here to talk to you about today are two areas of how we've seen our user base work in other applications. First, how does G Suite interoperate and how does it coexist with Microsoft? Second, how can G Suite integrate with other applications in your broader ecosystem, extending G Suite with the tools that you already have? Let's start with G Suite interoperability. On the G Suite team, interoperability means design to work together. We've designed G Suite to work seamlessly together with your existing or previous tools. To break down the problem, when we design G Suite to work together with those other tools, we're thinking about three different pillars. The first is migration. Once an organization decides to go G Suite, we help them move off of legacy systems. We offer many data migration products like G Suite Migrate and G Suite migration for Microsoft Exchange. That enable enterprise customers to easily move their on-premise or other cloud data into G Suite. We also have change management resources to make the whole process as smooth as possible. The second pillar is internal coexistence. Depending on your rollout strategy and your deployment goals, there will often be times where both Microsoft and Google tools are used simultaneously whether that be within your team or throughout your organization. We want to make sure our apps and services work great and coexist with Microsoft in all of those use cases. A great example of this is when teams sign up for our new G Suite Essential editions. G Suite Essentials provides Google Meet, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, as well as many other tools for teams that want to use the best of modern collaboration within an organization that may have existing email and calendar solutions already in place. Our third pillar is external coexistence. We know that you're likely always going to have to work with some external vendors or contractors or clients that still use Microsoft tools. G Suite interoperates with your external partners too, so you don't have to worry about who uses what. Today, we'll be focused on the internal and external coexistence pillars and how G Suite products are designed to interoperate. The bottom line is that G Suite works seamlessly with Microsoft tools, so you can adopt G Suite without worrying about coexistence with your existing data, tools, or infrastructure. So what does that mean for content collaboration? When collaborating together, we know you often have to work with files that were previously created before you moved to G Suite or by team members still using Microsoft tools. Rather than changing these file formats, when you open in Google Docs Sheets or Slides, you have the ability to edit the file as an Office file directly, right away. There goes that worrisome conversion. For example, you can open an Excel file directly in Google Sheets. We preserve the original Excel format even as you make changes. When you share the file in Drive with others on your team, 
they can use the tool of their choice to continue to make those edits. There are no special tools you need to convert the file format, and there are no duplicate copies in different formats in your drive. You can even edit Office files on a machine that doesn't have Microsoft installed at all. But we don't just make it easy to edit your existing content in G Suite. We also supercharge that content with the power of Google Collaboration. Doc Sheets and Slides helped pioneer real-time collaboration to create shared living documents in the cloud. Documents in G Suite become a single source of truth, so everyone can stay on the same page and everyone knows where the latest changes are. You can see the presence of your teammates as they update documents in real time with the colored cursors moving as they type. Data changes in real time, and there's live comments and suggestions. With Office editing and doc sheets and slides, we bring the power of real-time collaboration to your Microsoft Office documents. In Drive, you can also comment and collaborate on files, including PDFs. You get your best work done together, and we provide the power of collaboration to your existing files seamlessly. But that's not all. Over the years, we have evolved Doc Sheets and Slides to be suggestive, interactive, and connected to help you save time. With Office editing, we bring the power of Google Artificial Intelligence to your files to help you write faster and more accurately. This year, we introduced Smart Compose in Google Docs. Just like in Gmail, it makes writing faster and higher quality by suggesting complete sentences from your thoughts as you type them out. We also add intelligent grammar suggestions powered by machine learning and neural networks and can now auto-correct common spelling mistakes. Interoperability with Microsoft doesn't stay within docs and sheets and slides and drive. We're continually working on ways to make working with your existing files even easier, wherever you receive them and wherever you are. We're excited to make it easier to edit your files directly from within Gmail. You can quickly begin editing and collaborating on Office documents when you receive them via email by clicking the Edit in Google Docs button, which opens them directly for editing. We're also bringing the power of collaboration and artificial intelligence to your mobile devices. You can now edit Office documents on your Android devices and have, them have the same real-time collaboration features and Office editing features as you do on desktop. With our optimized mobile experience, you can easily consume and take action on your documents while you're on the go. Now, let's talk a bit about communications with the rest of your team. If part of your organization is still using Outlook, with a simple one-time initial setup via the Google Calendar Interop tool by your IT administrator, users on both systems will be able to see each other's availability in real time, including free and busy information and full event details. Exchange resource booking in Google Calendar also allows G Suite users to benefit from Calendar's intelligent room booking system, even if the conference rooms are stored in Exchange. You'll be able to view free busy status for rooms, filter them by availability, search for them by name, and even get personalized suggestions. Calendar Interop supports Office 365, Exchange 2010, Exchange 2013, and Exchange 2016. If you want to use Meet for video conferencing alongside your existing email and calendar solutions, the Meet Outlook add-in makes it easy to schedule, join, and create Meet video meetings directly from within Outlook. Teams and organizations can start using Meet today as part of G Suite Essentials and get up and running in a short amount of time. No email or calendar migration is required. Next, I'll hand it off to John to talk about how G Suite works seamlessly with other applications. Thanks, Jeffrey. So Jeffrey told you all about how G Suite works seamlessly with Microsoft tools, and now I'll dive into how other, the other tools you use can work within G Suite. So as we talked about in the beginning of the session, professionals have access to dozens of different applications to get their work done. Salespeople might be drafting a proposal in Google Docs, frequently jumping back and forth to their CRM app to look up customer information. Uh, engineers and project managers get an email asking for a roadmap, and they need to open up their team's project tracking tool to answer. Lawyers are organizing paperwork for a deal that's about to close and need to jump back and forth to their e-signature tool or their case management system. And everybody schedules meetings and calendar, and frequently you need to add a conference bridge from another tool or reference data from your CRM. All of this app switching adds up. It can be distracting because you're taken away from your primary task. 
it could be confusing because you accumulate a hundred different windows and tabs on your desktop. And as I bet many of us can relate, it can just get a bit tiresome. So I'm here to talk to you today about G Suite add-ons and how G Suite add-ons can simplify how you use these third-party applications to get work done. So you might be thinking, I've been using integrations within G Suite for some time. I've downloaded data connectors and sheets or other add-ons and docs. So aren't all integrations G Suite add-ons? Not exactly. G Suite add-ons is a new framework that we announced at Next 2019, which allows you to simplify how you work in a third-party application from inside of Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Drive. Yes, Docs add-ons listed in the G Suite marketplace are also ways for you to work in your required third-party applications, but we wanted to enhance that and bring you a more delightful, cohesive experience. With G Suite add-ons, you have a more intuitive and simplified user experience across G Suite. What, we what we'll show you today is how G Suite add-ons is a single add-on to uh, install that works across multiple G Suite applications. So this includes a persistent side panel that follows you across all your G Suite applications. G Suite add-ons utilize this persistent side panel as like a home page, which allows you to work in a third-party application that isn't tethered to the context of the specific document or the item that you're working on. So imagine being able to like pull up a task list that's your overall list of to-dos and it follows you around as you work within G Suite. Rather than just seeing your action items related to the specific document, you're now able to maintain a macro view of your work across that third-party application all from inside of G Suite. And lastly, G Suite add-ons have enhanced the management and security protocols, which simplify how admins can manage and install add-ons across the enterprise. So the first thing we want to focus on G Suite add-ons is the quick access side panel I talked about. So if, here we can reduce context switching, which has always been important to G Suite. And we've already helped solve part of this problem for switching between G Suite's own apps. So within that G Suite side panel, which is available across G Suite, you can access things like calendar keep and tasks inside of Gmail, Calendar, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and Google Drive. This side panel lets you keep these other G Suite app open, G Suite apps open side by side with the main G Suite app so that you can quickly look up information or take action such as referencing your calendar while you're composing an email to somebody you need to meet with outside your company. G Suite add-ons allows you to consistently access your other workplace apps right from that same G Suite side panel. In this example, you can access the G Suite add-on that you use for managing tasks through Workfront. The powerful new thing here is that you can access this add-on while you're working, whether you're in Calendar, Drive, or Gmail. So as a user, you install a single add-on and it's accessible across all of G Suite, streamlining your work and saving you from all that context switching. From workflows to customer relation management, relationship management to task management, and even things like importing third-party data, you can work across your organization's tech stack from the place you already spend the most time, which is G Suite. You can surface relevant information and enable actions from third-party apps based on what you're working on and which G Suite app you're working in. You can minimize context switching and save valuable time by eliminating the need to jump from tab to tab and app to app to get your work done. In this example, you could update the status of a task in Workfront, continue the comment thread regarding this task directly from that side panel without ever having to jump back and forth between Gmail and Workfront. G Suite add-ons also present actions related to your drive files or your calendar events, for example, suggesting an attachment or attending a particular calendar event. Another thing of note is that G Suite add-ons are also available in mobile on Gmail right now with other apps to follow later on so that you can quickly access relevant information and quick actions wherever you are. G Suite add-ons can also offer up specific entry points tailored to each G Suite app. So we've talked about the persistent sidebar that works across G Suite, G Suite but G Suite add-ons can also integrate with the Compose box in Gmail and things like the conferencing options in Calendar. More and more of these entry points will be added to G Suite across over time, uh, making your favorite workplace apps even more deeply integrated within G Suite. And of course, you have to find all these integrations so the way you do that is you go to the G Suite Marketplace, uh, usually by clicking the plus button at the bottom of the side panel we've been talking about. G Suite Marketplace is the home of thousands of business applications that all integrate with G Suite. And if you're an admin, you, you can control which business apps your organization integrates and also manage custom private built apps for your internal use cases. So today, we're really excited to announce that G Suite add-ons are coming to Google Docs 
Google Sheets, and Google Slides. With this upcoming launch, G Suite add-ons will now be available. Uh, will now enable you to use a single add-on with a consistent behavior across six core G Suite applications: Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Users will love the consistency and speed connecting to the other tools that they need to get their work done. Admins will appreciate easily managing which add-ons their employees have access to use and which data are available to those add-ons. So let's look at a couple of examples of how this will work. Imagine you need to get a document signed. You have your document open, you open the DocuSign add-on from the side panel, add an email address, and click send for signatures. That's it. No jumping back and forth between the document, DocuSign, and Gmail. The entire workflow takes place where you need to have it just inside of G Suite. Or imagine you're making a slide deck for your sales team or for a big presentation. You can search for stock images from Adobe Creative Cloud and insert them directly into your deck. No more jumping over to a new tab, browsing images, downloading to your desktop, and inserting into the slide. With G Suite add-ons, you can execute on that entire process without ever having to leave Google Slides. And as I mentioned before, for admins, we've really made it easy to manage and control these add-ons for their users to ensure that the business, their business data is safe and that their users are productive. We designed the add-on framework to only access the minimum amount of data necessary and only access it at a time the user is actually interacting with it. We also make it easy for you to create your own add-ons for any specific internal use cases that you may have. Finally, with domain level install and whitelisting options, we enable admins to control which add-ons their users can install themselves or to install an add-on uh, holistically for the entire company. So why should you care? What kinds of things does this enable you to do? So you can imagine having a central repository, a repository of all the approved asset, assets across your company that you can easily insert into any email, document, or presentation that you're working on or being able to receive a document in Gmail, as I mentioned before, and easily sign it without having to leave G Suite. You can have your task list available across all of G Suite so you stay focused on the most important work and get things done. And of course, you can import or export data into Sheets so you can run your monthly sales reports. And finally, you can do things like creating new contacts in your CRM right from inside of Gmail. And let's hear about G Suite add-ons from a couple of our partners. DocuSign has over 4 million add-on installs and an average rating over four stars in the G Suite marketplace. In their user research, they've heard feedback that their user base wants a simplified solution to use DocuSign within G Suite and minimize the need to jump from tab to tab to execute on core workflows. They said, we're excited about G Suite add-ons coming to Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides because it enables us to deepen the integration between G Suite and DocuSign. With G Suite add-ons, DocuSign users can now act on agreements from Gmail, Drive, and Docs, whether they are sending or signing, all from one integration. Having everything in a single integration in G Suite provides users not only with a consistent way to interact with DocuSign across all the G Suite apps, but also means that users only need to download the app once. We look forward to being part of the Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides developer early access program and can't wait to deliver this unified experience to our joint customer base. Adobe is another partner who has reached millions of joint users through their integrations with G Suite. In this example, you can see a user receiving a file in Gmail, opening up the Adobe Creative Cloud side panel, and saving the attachment to their Creative Cloud library without ever leaving Gmail. As you add this to the process we described earlier, a user could receive files in Gmail, save them to their Creative Cloud library, jump over to Docs or Slides to build a one-pager or a sales deck, and pull those files right in from their Creative Cloud library without ever leaving G Suite. The integration with Adobe allows for creative professionals to do their work in the native Creative Cloud applications while enabling, enabling their teammates to use those assets in G Suite applications. As Adobe would put it, bringing Creative Cloud into G Suite enables our mutual user base to simplify routine tasks while staying productive. And to sum it all up, the bottom line is that we want to make sure that you can work the way you want. We know you require multiple third-party applications on top of G Suite. So no matter what apps you use, with G Suite add-ons, you can get your best work done, all without switching tabs, navigating app windows, or losing time changing context, all without leaving G Suite. So learn more about G Suite add-ons by visiting our website at gsuite.google.com slash products slash add dash ons, or you can browse ready to install integrations in the G Suite marketplace. On behalf of Jeffrey and myself, thank you.